Nice hot summer day, huh? Almost July. We got the Midsummer Fire Festival coming to a close here. And what better way than to discover something that, I don't know, Blizzard just keeps on doing. They keep on putting shit in the game that is, nobody tell. they don't tell anybody about it. It's not data mined, it's not anything. And today, we're going to be looking at one of these items, okay? It's a fucking water gun, all right? It's pretty nuts looking. I'm going to talk about, make a little guide on how to get it, talk about all the things about it. And then you guys could get some some summer action in, just like a you know, super soaker kind of shit. But it's a really really cool thing. Before we do get started, you know this is not the first time they've done this. If you remember previously, the I believe it was the fire cap buff, right? That was similar as well. They said they were gonna put it in, and then they never told anybody it was in, and then people randomly found it, and we made a video on that as well. So uh, that's about it. Let's go talk a, a bit more specifically about the actual gun. All right. All right, so here's some uh, logistical information that you will need to know. It, in order to get this cosmetic item, all right, it, it takes place on Throne of Thunder, first of all. It takes place right before the boss Tortos. Now, if you've never done Throne of Thunder, you don't know anything about Throne of Thunder, here's a little information, okay? Uh, there are four bosses that need to be, well, three that need to be killed, and then there's going to be trash in front of Tortos, so a bit risky. Uh, but I would recommend clearing to Tortos, maybe clearing him, and then you'll be good. There's going to be geysers right in front of where you land. I have some footage of this, uh, so we'll show that off firsthand. But uh, there's going to be a, a ring of geysers, and you're just going to have to go around the ring. And every time you hit one of the geysers and get jumped, you're going to get a stack. And at 250, ugh, 250, it's crazy. You get this fucking item, all right? Taioshi or whatever the fuck her name is sends you an in-game mail with the item. With a, a mail attached. We're going to read that out loud as well. But it is... Uh, 250 is rough, all right? And you're going to see... I don't get it. I did not do this. I am, don't have the attention span for it. But you'll see. You'll see how it goes and it, how it could be frustrating. Basically, you have to get knocked up in the air and then... Every time you hit one, it shoots you in the direction your camera's facing. So you have to constantly be repositioning your camera. And eventually it gets kind of mind-numbing and you, you kind of just get it done. But anyway, uh, it, it's not too hard. It really isn't. So uh, from things to keep in mind when you're doing this, if you're going to bubble or ice block anything like that for any reason, it's going to remove your stacks. But obviously, I mean, why the fuck would you do that? you got to be a moron to think that's not going to work. You can stand on your mount and do this. It makes it a bit easier if you don't hit exactly where you want it to land because obviously time is of the essence. The the buff itself only lasts for like, it's, it seems like it's between two and four seconds. I've seen three seconds, two, four, etc. But uh, you'll want to, you know, if you do miss, you have a few second leeway to actually hit the next one. But it's going to make it kind of hard to position your camera. So that's going to be something you'll have to deal with. Uh, the item's account bound apparently, so you could mail it in between tunes. It has a 30-minute cooldown, and it can soak everybody. We're going to show the item in action as well. I got some footage of that, but um, we'll talk about that when we get there. So let's read the actual mail, okay? It says, from Taoshi, after getting 250 stacks, you get a hilarious item in your mail. Hello, Thunder Delver. The Shadow Pan have been watching your progress through Li Shen's Throne of Thunder and were astonished by your ninja-like geyser jumping abilities in the Forgotten Depths. We were working on weaponizing geyser technology in an attempt to turn Li Shen's thunderous powers against him. I've included a prototype modification of the Shadow Pan Dragon Gun. It just seems fair that you're the first to use it. Signed, Taoshi of the Shadow Pan. And that's what you get from her. Now, a few other things about the actual participation of the buff. At 50 stacks, it's like um, a visual effect as well. You get some type of augmentation. Apparently, at 25, your left foot gets covered in water. 50, right foot. 100, left hand. 175, right hand. And then full body at 250. You get covered in water. And then you get the water gun in the mail. So I'm not really sure you know, if there's any legitimacy to why you would do that but another cool concept is that if you have two or three seater mount like the reins of the grand black mammoth or the touring rocket you can actually do this with friends 
So if somebody is really patient and really wants to help you out, they can do this for you. Essentially, you can go AFK. Uh, so if this might actually be something you could sell, like if somebody's really impatient and you're really good at it, be like, listen, give me 40K and I'll guarantee you have this by the end, you know, in a few hours, not even. So it's pretty cool. You have to be in a raid group to enter Throne of Thunder, don't forget. And once again, you're going to have to have cleared the bosses, but there is a way around it apparently. So uh, this can be done in LFR. So what it's going to recommend is you're going to queue for the Tortoise bit. Okay, so that's the second LFR out of the four for the TOT. And you're going to kill the first two bosses, and then you're going to fight G Kun. It's recommended that at G Kun you die and wait till he dies. Okay, you can use the Rasha Sacrificial Dagger to make sure you die if you're not going to die otherwise. But otherwise, just stand in one of the mechanics and don't you know, take off gear or something if you have to. But... Then you're going to release your spirit and go into the raid again. Do not leave the LFR group. You're going to be able to go back into the beginning, apparently. I don't know why. I guess because the encounter is in progress or something? I don't know. But either way, you'll be in the raid and everything will be cleared. And then you'll have it all set. So, But I mean, who you know? I'm sure you could just find a friend to log on and all or something like that if you have cleared this stuff out. But if you don't actually raid TOT then yeah you're fucked you're gonna especially now if you're watching this in a later expansion i'm not really sure what you're gonna have to do i guess you're gonna have to find a group to clear this and that's not gonna be easy so might as well get it while you while it's out now uh, i have some footage of the actual jumping and then some footage of the item in progress so let's head over to that right now shall we all right and here we are now some uh some looks at the actual jumping now immediately you'll notice the ring once again, this is right before Torto, so it's impossible to miss. You just have to have all this cleared. And the trash is not 100% mandatory to clear, as you'll see. But uh, what, what you'll see me doing is just jumping around in a circle now. And basically, this is I, I don't complete this, and I really just, to be honest, I don't have the patience for it. But um, you'll see a few common pitfalls, like right there. I don't know what even happens here, but I somehow get two buffs from that one after losing the buff. And it's just it's it's just kind of a shit fest because you really can't control now. One thing you have to do, you have to go around clockwise or counterclockwise. You cannot go back and forth. I originally tried this just going back and forth between the front two, and it does not work. And obviously falling in the water is GG. So basically just a, a small clip of me, you know, how you could fail right there. There's, you know, me missing it and being a bit behind because of it. Uh, it's it's not easy to do to be honest but once you get the hang of it it's not bad at all and the buffs are going to be on the right hand corner of your screen and there is a really good example of uh, me panicking and just fucking it up you know what i mean so in terms of you know there's not really any tips i can give you just do it it's going to get frustrating eventually you'll get it it's it's really not that hard it's not difficult but it is definitely frustrating and if you get frustrated you know then just take a nice deep breath and step back i I don't have the patience for this kind of thing. I knew that immediately, so I gave up on it. But I'm sure a lot of people can, you know, can really be driven to get something like this. But it's a cool item to see happen, but it's not something I would ever really use. Now, we're going to take a look now at the actual item in use. Okay, there's the 30-minute cooldown confirmation, bind-on account type stuff. Uh, but he, a good friend of ours in the guild, Prida, he had managed to get it by the time I had ready to make the video. And he's about to use it. Now, what's going to happen, there it is. He's used the item. It's a 30-minute cooldown, and you have use of the item for five minutes. And it squirts a fucking water stream at, you know, in front of you. Basically, how it works is you get a extra action button, all right? That's going to be one of the buttons in the middle of the screen. It should be obvious. You should know what those are from Tortoise, Ultraxian, fights like that, um, the Blind Dragon, shit like that. Uh, and it's going to just douse anybody with water whenever you press the button. And for five minutes, you could run, you could jump, you could do whatever you want. You can get an amount as well. Uh, you can get, somebody can get on a two-seater, I believe, and you could use it on the back of the two-seater. It's a really, really cool concept. It looks cool. It's a great applicable thing for summer, you know, since it is summer now. I don't really know when this was added. I'm assuming 5.3, but it's a really cool concept because they didn't tell anyone about this. And it's it's a fun, neat little thing that people, when they find it, they really become accomplished. So you're also silenced while using it, while you have the five-minute buff. So you won't be able to use this in the middle of an encounter or nothing like that, a boss encounter anyway. But could be fun to troll your friends in the raid. But anyway, if you have any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, 
good luck. If it's still TOT, you should be able to get it easily, but it's not good luck, man. You might need to group, clear out some uh, some raids or, I guess, through LFR, but enjoy it. Enjoy the summer as well.